Hello, hackers. I've built an open source framework to prepare data for Rack with my friend. We just launched and are starting to get in some really awesome feedback from the community. One of them is to start to make a quick demo. Here we go. Let's grab a coffee and start together. And here is a Cocoa Index repo. It is licensed under Apache. Cocoa Index is an ETL framework to index data. It allows users to plug in their own logic, like Lego, and also support incremental indexing on data or logic update to minimize the necessary recomputation. How Cocoa Index works is um, we let users to define the transformation in a simple way, basically declares a data flow via the Cocoa Index SDK. We currently have the Python library underneath an analyzer will go through the definition for the flow and then execute the pipeline. So on the documentation, we provide um, a quick start link, a quick start to build your first Cocoa Index project for um, a simple demo for a chunky embedding and load the data into a vector store. Um, we have uh, documentation related to uh, to understand Cocoa Index Core, for example, um, the basics concept, uh, what is the index flow. So Cocoa Index is a data flow driven programming. Um, what are the data, um, operation, and some examples. Uh, understand the life of indexing flow. Um, there's also uh, documentation regarding to data types, um, how to uh, set up the Cocoa Index, uh, how to initialize the Cocoa Index library, um, flow definition. So this is mostly uh, explain some of the core concept when you need to code. For example, uh, what is a flow builder? What is a data scope? Uh, once we started the tutorial, uh, we can take a closer look at this and uh, some of the flow methods, um, custom functions, uh, also have a documentation for building operations. For example, um, what are the source needed? Currently, we support local file. Uh, in the future, we can provide more connectors, uh, like calling from the web, connect to Notion, Google Drive, and all that. Uh, some of the building functions are also documented here and on the vector stores. All right, let's get started with a quick start tutorial. Uh, to be able to use um, Cocoa Index, we need to first install the Cocoa Index library. Install Cocoa Index. Right. Uh, after we installed the Cocoa Index, we need to make sure that we have Docker uh, installed. And um, if you don't know how to install Docker, we have, um, you can, uh, there is a link to the official documentation and you can just um, follow it there. Mm. The next is we are going to start a PostgreSQL database, um, which, um, Cocoa Index uses the PostgreSQL database internally to track the states. Uh, it is state state for pipeline because we do incremental updates. So uh, I'm just going to copy the command from the um, Quick Start tutorial and um, just this this is to set up the PostgreSQL. Uh, so as you can see. Uh, the container is started. Okay. Um, so now uh, we have the environment ready. Let's uh, make a directory. Quick start. Hmm. And then let's get into the directory. So the next thing we are going to do is 
um, there is a link on the tutorial for um, some markdown files you want to download that and uh, unzip it and so next we're going to do downloads uh, okay so i have this and i'm just gonna move the markdown files to here okay okay let's create a file start.py import cocoa index this decorator declares this function to be a cocoa index flow you can give it any name right now we just call it text embedding the text embedding flow takes two argument a flow builder and a data scope the flow builder is object that is the starting point to construct a flow. Right now, it provides a from source method that allows you to import data from external sources. Next, let's take a look at the data presentation for Cocoa Index. Data scope is the most important concept for the data presentation. A data scope represents the data of a unit. It can be the top level scope and involving all data for flow or a subscope for example, a document or for a chunk. Now let's extend the top level scope with the field documents and we're going to add source to it. We're going to add source from the local file. The output of this generates a table with two fields. One is the file name and the other one is a content. Next, let's create data collector on the root scope so we can collect a few fields that can be right to the vector store in the end. Uh, we are going to do doc embeddings equals data scope dot add collector. Uh, once we have that, we are going to process each document. Um, the data scope documents is a table, and so basically here we are going to iterate each document and we are going to create a subscope called doc. Next, we are going to extend the subscope doc with a field chunks, and then we are going to take the uh, content from a doc, and we are going to perform recursive split to generate the chunks. So now we have a list of chunks. And we're going to iterate each chunk and create a new subscope. Um, under the chunk sub subscope, we have, uh, we're going to extend it with a new field embedding and it will be reading from chunks text. And we're going to transform it using um, Coco index function dot sentence transformer embed. And let's choose the model of um, sentence transformers. Okay, um, there are twelve k models uh, from Hugging Face that supports this, and uh, you can basically choose anything you like. Okay, now we're almost done. Let's collect doc embeddings dot uh, collect. Now we're gonna click file name from doc file name. We're going to collect location from chunk and um, also the let's also collect text. Okay, so finally let's just paste over the code to export the doc embeddings to the Postgres um, PG vector store. Before we run the index program, let's uh, end the main function. Uh, let's use the cocoaindex.main um, main function decorator. 
it helps with some uh, lab library states initialization. Now let's switch back to the terminal. First, we're going to specify the database URL by the environment variable. Uh, just paste from the tutorial. Then uh, we are ready to set up and update the index. So I'm going to run Python quick start dot py index dash dash. Right, so these are the list of the commands. First, let's do um, let's set up the index. So what it does it is it will automatically create a few tables in the database. Let's do let's hit yes. Cool. So now we have the tables ready for the index. Now we are ready to build the index. Let's do quick start index update. So it will run a few seconds. And now it will output the stats. We added three new documents and uh, updated zero. Um, all right, now we are done with the indexing flow. Let's just quickly build a query path so we can start to interact with the index. I'm just going to quickly copy paste this from the tutorial. It defines a simple semantic query handler. And just to make sure you choose the same model for the embedding as the indexing path for the query as well. And for the vector similarity metrics, we choose uh, cosine similarity. Next, let's update the main function a little bit so we can interact with the queries in the terminal. Um, so I'm just going to copy paste this from the um, tutorial. And basically, this allows you to uh, start to interact with the index. OK, let's switch back to the terminal and let's run the query handler. Let's try transformer model. All right, uh, here are the search results. Um, so the first one is the cosine similarity followed by the file name, followed by the text chunk that uh, was matched um, from the transformer model.